Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipak Shikurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 10th of October. One soldier injured in encounter in Jammu and Kashmir province of India. Conflict between security forces and Taliban in Kunduz leaves thousands of Afghans displaced. And devotees across India offer prayers on concluding day of Hindu festival. And now for all the details, an encounter is underway between security forces and terrorists in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir. One Indian soldier was injured in the firing. An encounter broke out on Monday after two to three militants stormed an institutional building in the Pampur town of Jammu and Kashmir province. While parts of the building have reportedly suffered damages in the firing, security forces have cordoned off the premise. The terrorists are said to be holed up in the building. This is the second time after February that the Entrepreneurship Development Institute in Pampur has come under attack. In February, seven people including a civilian, three paramilitary commandos of the army and three terrorists were killed in a gun battle that lasted for 48 hours in the EDI premises. This is the latest in the series of attacks and intrusion by terrorists from Pakistan against India. Ceasefire violations by Pakistani troops and infiltration bids by terrorists have become routine in recent weeks. The Dhaka police on Monday released photographs of seven of the 11 suspected militants who were killed during a massive anti-militancy crackdown last week. Our report. The Dhaka police, while releasing the photographs of seven of the 11 alleged militants, have requested people to provide any information about the killed militants for further investigation. All 11 militants were killed in two separate raids on the hideouts in the outskirts of Dhaka on October 8. The police stated that they were members of the terror group Jamaatul Mujahideen Bangladesh or JMB that was involved in the gruesome attack on Holy Artisan Cafe in capital Dhaka on July 1st, in which 22 people, mostly foreigners, were killed. Seven militants whose photographs were released were killed in one of the raids after police were tipped off that the JMB's Dhaka unit chief and his associates were there. Chief of Baloch Republican Party has once again raised concerns about the grave atrocities being committed by Pakistan authorities in the southwestern Balochistan province. He also reviewed over the deteriorating political situation in the region. With the recent protests across the globe highlighting human rights violations by Pakistan security forces in Balochistan province, a new wave of Baloch resistance has arisen in the southwestern province. The Baloch people accuse the Pakistani establishment of forcibly taking control of their land and resources and committing extrajudicial killings. Chief of Baloch Republican Party, who recently appealed for political asylum in India, said that there is absence of political order in the province. People who are frustrated with Pakistan do not want to live with Pakistan. I say that 95% or 100% of people do not want to live with Pakistan. There are just few people who are afraid of them and are just afraid of them and are just afraid of them. गवर्नमेंट में बैठे हुए हैं आप देख रहे हैं बलोचिस्तान में जो भी कोई गवर्नमेंट आती है तो कोई ऑपोजिशन कोई है ही नहीं मतलब हर वक्त कोई गवर्नमेंट है कभी ये देखिए पीपल पार्टी की है तो बस सारे पीपल पार्टी के हैं कोई ऑपोजिशन नहीं है दो एन ऑन गोइंग इश्यू बलोचिस्तान रिसीव्ड इंटरनेशनल लाइम लाइट आफ्टर इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी रिसेंटली हाईलाइटेड अबाउट द ह्यूमन राइट वायोलेशन बींग कमिटेड इन द प्रोविंस बाई पाकिस्तान लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसीज India has also raised the Balochistan issue at the United Nations. 
As Afghan security forces and Taliban insurgents battle in northern Kunduz city, thousands of residents have been forced to flee the region. They're living in dire needs of food and medicine, but residents claim nothing much has been done. Thousands of residents in Kunduz city have left behind their homes to escape the ongoing clashes between the security forces and Taliban insurgents. According to a UN report released on Sunday, the number of war-displaced civilians in Kunduz has more than doubled to 24,000. There is anger building among the displaced people who have sought shelter in capital Kabul and other cities. As locals in Kunduz continue to flee, acute shortage of food, water and medicine are mounting the frustration of the people against the government. Kunduz has flared up in recent weeks where the government forces are trying to suppress Taliban's attempt to reclaim the control of the area. In a unique fetish, a man in Western India collects currency with numbers ending in 786 as the figure is considered holy in Islam. He vows to continue his passion and enter the Guinness Book of World Records. A man in India's western Gujarat province has been collecting Indian currency notes with numbers ending in 786 since the last 10 years, taking his collection to a total of about $2,628. He started his initiative due to the sanctity associated with the number 786, which is considered holy in Islam. Till today, he has collected rupee notes of all denominations. The businessman said he usually receives such notes on Fridays during Eid or Muharram or other festive occasions. Sudpura said his hobby brings him happiness and luck. He plans to continue with his project. People swarmed temples since early morning across the country to mark the concluding day of the nine-day-long Hindu festival. The day is considered auspicious for worshipping young girls believed to be an incarnation of Goddess Durga. Devotees across India celebrated the ninth day of Navratri as Mahanomi on Monday. It marks the end of the nine-day festival dedicated to Goddess Durga, who annihilates Buffalo Demon King Mahishasura. Temples were decked up with flowers, lights and flags. Priests performed rituals and special prayers before decorated idols of Durga. On this day, devotees worship young girls believed to be an incarnation of Goddess Durga. Final preparations are underway across India for the culmination of the festival of nine nights. People observe the Shara through prayer meetings and food offerings to the gods at home or in temples throughout the country. Devotees across India celebrated the Hindu festival of Durga Puja with creative and colourful artistic creations. The festival culminates on the 10th day, which is celebrated as the Shara, where effigies of demon king Ravana are burnt to signify the victory of good over evil. Artists across the country are busy making final changes ahead of the festival. In northern Aligarh city, Muslim artisans were seen busy making idols of Ravana 
the ten-headed demon defeated by Lord Ram. आज हम लोग यहाँ पर रावण देखने आए हैं, जो कि हमारे यहाँ दशहरे पर इसको जलाया जाता है, और उस दिन बहुत ज़्यादा भीड़ होती है, तो हम लोग मतलब देखने नहीं आ पाते। इसलिए आज हम अपने बच्चों को ये दिखाने आए हैं कि मतलब जो हमारा मतलब हिंदू संस्कृति में रावण जलाया जाता है क्या होता है छोटे-छोटे बच्चों को उसके बारे में नॉलेज देनी चाहिए। The Shara festival will fall on October 11 when effigies of demon king will be burnt in the evening through a dramatic enactment of how Lord Ram fights the ten-headed demon king. Idols of Goddess Durga will also be immersed in bodies of water to mark the end of Durga Puja. When it comes to loving animals, there are people who are setting bar on how they express their love for them and somehow their gestures restore humanity. In India, people celebrated birthday of a jumbo to spread love for wildlife. Forest rangers at Dalma Wildlife Sanctuary in India's eastern Jharkhand province celebrated the seventh birthday of a female elephant, Rajni, by cutting a cake amid cheering school children. Rajni was rescued seven years ago on October 7th by forest officials who found her alone and injured in a jungle. She has been looked after by the forest rangers and locals since then. The rangers have since been celebrating the day she was rescued as her birthday. जंगल से प्राप्त हुआ था और इसका पालन पासन पोषण देख रेख वन विभाग के कर्मचारियों से के ये से ग्रामीणों के सहयोग से बहुत अच्छी तरह से हो रहा है और हम लोग आज सातवां जन्मदिन हर साल मनाते हैं आज उसी तरह साजी मना रहे हैं। Forest officials say they hope such celebrations will help to create a feeling of love for wildlife among kids. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. One soldier injured in encounter in Jammu and Kashmir province of India. Conflict between security forces and Taliban in Kunduz leaves thousands of Afghans displaced. And devotees across India offer prayers on concluding day of Hindu festival. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash Newsline and follow us on Twitter at Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.